Last one, I mean it this time. So I just finished the GLS and now it's Friday night. We're gonna start. It's a 21 X5 M50. We're gonna do G on infinite, G on top coat, and then we also have a good amount of PPF to do. All right, so with the single step correction, I'm using, we're just gonna use a DA, it's plenty. This is the 21 HLR and Eurofiber blended wool with 3D1. So this front door, so this is our before. Light defects, pretty normal, but no real signs of tunnel wash or, you know, this thing getting abused maintenance wise. And then I'm, so here's our back door. All right, great clarity. 3 one is a very versatile, whoop, let me go that far. All right, so that's what we're going after. We're just gonna clean up the light defects. Get some color, get some gloss out of it. It'll, it'll look great.
All right, so I switched up the polishing a bit, mainly because I was just getting a little frustrated on the other two doors doing or trying to do a single step. You know, a big part for me is working efficiently and I know I don't show it on camera, but I'm going through, you know, two to three cycles. I'm, I may be showing like a quarter of one cycle, at least on video, but whenever I find myself like trying to one step, but it's taken me like three cycles to remove the defects I want, it's, it's too much. That's when I'll just switch to the rotary and then I'll do the second step with the DA. So by switching to the rotary, now I'm reducing my cycle time. I can, I can do one cutting cycle with the rotary, then I can do the second cycle with the DA. So instead of doing three total, I'm down to two. Yeah, so that's a big scratch. That's not coming out. I thought I thought some of it would would come out, but sorry, David. One for two.
All right, that looks really good. I'm happy with this. Really good clarity. Big lights. Those water spots. Yuck. Yuck, yuck. We'll refine this. Alright, we gotta polish all the glass. That's a bummer. I didn't even notice that yesterday. Okay. These back bumpers are just brutal. It just, it takes time, right? It, they're, they're so complex, right? You have, you have these hard bar body lines, you know, you have all these different areas. Like it's, it's just a very complex bumper, you know, and there's no easy way to do this. I like the rotary because it's, since the rotary spins on one axis, it's it's very precise. So you can get into all these, you know, areas without worrying about you know banging into the surrounding parts. Now I did refine with the DA in some of it, just because it's well, because it's easier to refine with the DA. It is what it is. Looks nice.
All right, next part is I want to tackle these floor mats. They're in pretty good shape. I want to try two things. So this is new. This is Coach Kemi Gummy Fix. And then this is Coach Kemi MSN. I'm going to use that as a cleaner. And then I want to see what this does to restore the plastics or rubber. Rubber floor mats. I know it's probably a worthless exercise given the condition of these things. But they're nice and uniform and black. Need to get some worn out weather techs and see what this stuff does.
Robin. All right, so the other new product I got was Gion Quick View. Oh, look at that. So, it's a neat applicator. You know, this thing's full of fluid. It'll leach out as you, assuming, press it. So we'll see what this does. We'll see. I'll stay in touch with the owner. Hopefully we can get some feedback on this. Car's looking good though. All right, so I think it's important to show not just the good, but also the bad. So. We had a mess up today and it has to do with the film and pulling paint. So for PPF, we did a full hood, headlights, front bumper, and mirror caps. And if you look right here, that is pulled clear coat. Now, from my experience, I've never had pulled clear coat installing film. I've, I've seen it twice now removing film and it typically only happens on aftermarket um, resprays, not OEM paint. Now I know online I've seen, you know, Ferraris and even Teslas have a bad reputation of, you know, pulling factory paint, but this, this is a bummer. And we can show this. So this is the bottom of the cut film, right? So all this gray here is from, I don't know if I can show it. Let's see if I can show it. Oh, my camera's too big. So if we look down here, like all, no, all of this, is what pulled up as well as our problem area or at least our most visible area on the front end you know that's a bummer right that you can't fix that that needs to go back to a body shop get resprayed you know wait 30 60 days and then have the film put on you know so my heart kind of sank when i saw that after we got everything cleaned up, I texted the owner, you know, and I, I was just being upfront with him. I was like, we have damage here. We pulled paint. Um, you know, he's my neighbor. So he's, you know, he could come over in short order and I could show him, you know, kind of what happened. Now, as far as responsibility goes, you know, I definitely own this because this happened under my care. Now, you know, both of us are kind of, were kind of shocked at, you know, understanding that this was a respray because this is a CPO car that's not supposed to have any body work done. Um, but even when we pulled off, we removed both kidney grills to, to install the, the film. We could see that but behind the kidney grill on this side, it's not painted. Whereas on the driver's side, it is fully painted and there were no issues anywhere on the side on the driver's side with the paint so it appears that we just have a you know kind of partial fix on the passenger side and that is what you know got affected by the film you know ppf is is very sticky it has a ton of glue you know especially with the film you're you're putting it on the car you're pulling it off you're stretching you know it puts a lot of tension on the on, on the paint so 
you know, unfortunately, it's, especially on plastic, you know, paint does not stick as well to plastic as it does paint. That's why, I don't know if you watch any body shops or any uh, respray work, they'll use like Bulldog or some type of adhesion promoter before the paint actually goes down. Um, you know, so th this is unfortunate. unfortunate. The owner took it very well. He took it in good strides. You know, he was disappointed in the dealership, you know, saying that this is CPO, there's no body work done, you know, and clearly we have something going on here. So I think he's going to sleep on it. I know his initial impressions were it's fine. We'll just live with it. But, you know, I, I told him I'll, you know, help with this. You know, whether that, that's me repaying, you know, me paying for the respray or me pulling off the film you know i'll i'll do whatever he wants you know i i need to own this mistake you know to to an otherwise eventful well event free detail but it's late sunday night i told him i'm gonna obviously finish the job and then we'll kind of reassess tomorrow this is his wife's car so ultimately she has kind of final say in terms of if we're going to live with this or going to get it fixed I did tell him, you know, we should not remove this film unless they're dead set on getting, getting this thing sprayed because I think the rest of this is, is just going to peel off if I go to remove the film. But the whole car is coated. I just need to finish top coat on the front clip and then we'll be good. I also need to redo the, the tire dressing. I don't like this Coach Kemi stuff. It, it doesn't look like anything. Driving your Mercedes, I've been up calling you, baby. My eyes wild from the passenger side. White sheets, your hands they go where I go, palm trees swaying out the window.